Welcome to this webinar series on San Antonio's Climate Action and Adaptation Plan. This session is an introduction to climate action in San Antonio. The series has been developed by the Office of Sustainability to support the launch and implementation of climate action within the city government and provides focus bursts on key topics related to climate action within San Antonio. This first session provides an overview of the context and detail of the Climate Action and Adaptation Plan. The following sessions get into more detail on specific topics. This introduction provides an overview of climate change, highlights some of San Antonio's key policies and programs in advancing climate action, gives background to the Climate Action and Adaptation Plan, or CAP, and encourages all city staff and departments to consider how climate action relates to your work and what opportunities you have to advance climate action in your decision-making and work. Greenhouse gases are a set of gases that have the property of allowing sunlight to pass through the atmosphere, but then, like the glass in a greenhouse or a car windshield, trap heat radiating from the surface of the Earth and blocking the Earth's heat from escaping into space. This is called the greenhouse effect, and it also allows for life on our planet as opposed to the moon, for example, which does not have enough of an atmosphere to trap heat. But since the industrial revolution and the dramatic increase of greenhouse gases that have been added to the atmosphere by human activity, the atmosphere has started to warm. And as a result, is starting to cause changes to the Earth's climate, which in turn affects weather, habitats, seasons, and a range of other natural processes. In 2016, Countries from around the world signed an agreement in Paris as part of the Conference of Parties of the UN Conference of Climate Change, committing to limit greenhouse gas emissions from their activities to collectively limit global temperature increase to two degrees Celsius by 2100, with a stretch ambition to limit change to 1.5 degrees Celsius. These thresholds have been identified and accepted by the global scientific community as the safe upper limit for global temperature increase that will avoid the most serious effects of future climate change. In addition to national commitments, local governments around the world are also committing to do their part to limit their greenhouse gas emissions to assist with this global effort. A common target to meet this goal is to reduce greenhouse gas emissions to effectively zero emissions by 2050. San Antonio is taking strong leadership commitment to meet this global goal. On June 22, 2017, the City Council passed a resolution in support of the Paris Climate Agreement, directing the city government to develop a plan to achieve carbon neutrality or zero carbon emissions by 2050. The plan, launched two years later in 2019, sets out a pathway to achieve carbon neutrality but also focuses on a range of other benefits to the city that can be advanced together, such as building on actions to prepare for and adapt to current and future climate impacts, regularly report on progress, and ensure that action prioritizes communities that are burdened the most by climate change, those that contribute least to climate change, and those most socially vulnerable to it. This is commonly called climate equity, and is described in more detail in another webinar burst. The city is also committed to taking leadership and working together with other local governments across the US and the world, and partners with some of the most significant institutions, including the America Cities Climate Challenge, Climate Mayors, and the Urban Sustainability Directors Network. San Antonio has a long track record of climate leadership, these are some of the most significant milestones and achievements with an acceleration following the city council's commitment in 2017 and launch of the cap in 2019. Some recent achievements in 2020 include the establishment of the mayor's youth engagement council for climate initiatives, winning the American planning associations resilience gold award for the cap. And the city of San Antonio was the only municipality honored by Texan by nature for leadership in conservation and sustainability. The Climate Action and Adaptation Plan itself sets out a roadmap for action in two key areas, climate mitigation to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and climate adaptation to help reduce the negative effects of climate change. 
Throughout both these areas, climate equity is woven throughout as an essential objective, focusing on how action can advance social equity within San Antonio. Importantly, the plan sets out not just actions for the municipal government, but also actions for the community as a whole. This is a plan for the entirety of San Antonio. We will get into the plan in more detail in following webinar bursts, but you can also access the CAP online through this link or by searching for SA Climate Ready. And you can also access more information and resources about what the city government is doing at www.sasustainability.com. The plan wasn't developed in a silo. Input from the community guided the development of all aspects of the CAP, involving community groups and individuals, businesses, academic partners, and other key stakeholders. Since enacting the CAP will require collaboration and support between the municipality and the community, understanding the interests and concerns of San Antonio's was a critical part of the process. The development team worked to ensure that the CAP strategies were developed based on input from a representative sample of San Antonians, and you can see how the CAP participants compared with key demographic factors of the city's 2016 census here including age, ethnicity, and household income. The CAP sets out a roadmap to protect what we love about San Antonio, ensuring that it remains a vibrant, thriving city for generations to come. But having a plan is just the first step. We must all work together to take action and achieve our goals for the city. This session focused on providing an introduction to the city's climate action. And following sessions, we'll get into more detail about the climate impacts the city faces today and in the future, the sources and trends of the city's greenhouse gas emissions, the connections between climate equity and social equity, and how all city staff and departments can contribute to moving climate action forward in San Antonio. Thank you very much. For more information on this or any other session, please contact the Office of Sustainability in general through sustainability at sanantonio.gov. Or you can directly contact Murray Myers, the special project manager with the Office of Sustainability.